Good morning, I'm Eric Carty with the Hopkinton Water Sewer Department and today we'd like to go over some water tips to help you in your home check for leaks and show you some important uh, features in the water system and how you can help uh, protect in the, in the event that you do have an emergency. Uh, so the board we have here is just kind of a demonstration of the water system and how the water gets into your home. Uh, from the water main we have a line that comes into your property and right at the property line we have a shutoff called the curb stop right here and that's something that we're able to access in the event that uh, your valve inside the home does not work so we can shut that off in any emergency. So one of the most important things for every homeowner that has uh, municipal water to know is where that main shutoff valve is in your home. Generally that line is coming in facing uh, off the street so it would be in your cellar uh, most likely and it's on the side where the water line faces the street coming in. This valve right here is before your water meter and what you want to do with that is just make sure that that turns. It's a quarter turn valve in order to shut and that'll shut the whole supply off in your house. So if you ever had a uh, pipe that broke inside or if you had uh, a problem with a plumbing issue and, you, and in any emergency that's where you'd go to first shut off your water and that'll isolate your whole house for you. Uh, right next to that is the water meter and the water meter can be one of the, uh, the best tools for you as a, a homeowner or resident uh, or businesses in order to make sure that uh, the, you have no internal leaks in the house. So the water meters read almost like a car odometer. The numbers go across and what we recommend is every now and then when you know that you're not running anything in the house, the dishwashers are off, washing machines are all off, is just to take a, a meter reading on that water meter, wait an hour or two, then come back and take another reading. If you see that that reading has changed, then you know that something is leaking. And nine times out of ten it's a toilet. Well, most of our high water calls are for leaking toilets and they can use upwards of 200 gallons a night. Uh, most people think that they would hear the toilet running but what happens is the tank will actually drain down into the bowl and it's not until that tank is empty that it actually kicks on and refills again so you may not be uh, near that and able to hear it when that actually ends up being emptied out. So we recommend that you, you do this check in order to help uh, make sure that you don't have anything leaking in the house. Also our other number one call starting this time of year is for high bills is for water sprinkler use and again water meter is a great tool for seeing how much water you're actually putting out on the lawn. Uh, the recommendation is for about an inch of water uh, a week for your lawn and this will give you a good indication of how much water is going out. So again, read, take a meter reading on that after your sprinkler system runs, you can come back, check the readings uh, that are in cubic feet and there's a simple calculation, one cubic foot is uh, 7.48 gallons and that will give you an idea of how much water is actually going out on the lawn. Uh, so those are two of our biggest calls for, for um, high water use and this water meter here will give you a good indication of what's going on in and outside of the house. Uh, one of the other things that we uh, recommend also is uh, uh, during this time of year is uh, to keep up with our news feed. We have a lot of things going on this time of year. We have uh, several hydrant flushing going on. A lot of businesses are required to do fire flow testing and when that happens that can stir up the system. So we try to give everybody as much notice as possible and we put that out on our Twitter feed at uh, Hopkinton uh, Water and we also do it uh, if you want to get it via email uh, there's a uh, link that we'll provide at the end of this that will give you an opportunity to sign up for our news feed and again we, we don't uh, inundate uh, your email with uh, notices we only put out the important notices that uh, if there's a water break and there's going to be discoloration or some other important news so that you can receive that directly uh, via email. Uh, so that's it for now and thank you for watching.